and thank you for joining my name is Yvonne so in today's recipe we're going to do some green seasoning so we'll just combine some herbs and we blend blend it to come up with the seasoning so it is so so good so handy so at any time that life gives you the opportunity to uh, the opportunity with some green herbs at home you can go ahead and try it out because by at the end of the day when you keep the herbs they might wither or they might even get rotten so the best thing is just to blend it you keep it in the refrigerator and then you use it when need be so let's get to the kitchen let me go ahead and show you all the ingredients that we'll need so we'll be using one brochure of parsley we'll also need one brochure of uh, basil so as you can see the basil some of the leaves are getting rotten so that's the more reason why we have to just blend it and keep so that at any time we need it we'll just get it and use adding in some time so this is a optional you can always just uh you know uh, modify it customize it to your own way you use your own ingredients that you you like so also use some rosemary and here is leeks we'll be adding in some leeks let me set this aside so here we have we'll, we'll need some onion so i have some ginger we'll add in some ginger and here is a garlic the garlic that we are going to use we'll need some garlic and i'll also add in some bell peppers friends so i'll just add some red green and uh, yellow bell peppers which is also optional you can always decide not to leave it in but I just think when you add all of this in the green seasoning, you really give it some nice taste. When you put this lime, we are going to add in this lime just to conserve it, you know, so that it shouldn't get bad. So add in some lime to add in some dry ingredients. If you have like oregano, like thyme, like uh, 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 paprika, that if you have at home, it will really be good in your seasoning. So we are going now to 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 just chop them we'll just chop them anyhow you know we'll just roughly chop them so we'll start with the spring onion so go ahead and you just uh, roughly chop it then you put it in the food processor so this recipe is not standard you can always decide to add other green herbs that you prefer and then go ahead and you 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 chop the pieces so just make sure that you first pick up the leaf, take out the leaves that are getting rotten before you then uh, roughly chop it to add it in the blender. And if you are enjoying the video, do give me a thumb up. I will really appreciate that. And remember to subscribe. If you have not yet subscribed, consider subscribing. It means a lot to us. And so friends, this step is just a step where we will just roughly, since we are using a food processor, you just roughly chop everything and add in the food processor you can always use a blender but i prefer the food processor because it will be easier for me so these uh, ingredients as you can see i have here uh, thyme so i'll first take off the, the leaves from the stem because we are just going to blend with the leaves and here is rosemary so i take uh, out the leaves that's what we need to blend so as you are blending you can go ahead and add in some water if you see that need be but i'm using the food processor so i'll just add in it just a little bit of water but you can go ahead and also use like uh, your blender if that's what you prefer so this is the first batch so i'll go ahead and blend the second batch and if you did watch up to this point i really do appreciate you i appreciate all your support and i'm sending you tons of hawks from my end so when you are done blending go ahead and you store it in a container with a lid so you will transfer all the ingredients in the container then you store it in the refrigerator the good thing about this green seasoning is that it can last in the refrigerator for a long time so this quantity that i made actually can last me like for a month or more and so makes cooking easy for me I just get and use. <laughs> so our ingredients are ready. Just take a look. This is how they look. 
just the flavor coming out from the ingredients. It's a proof that they're going to be good when you add it in your food. So this is the best way that you can do to store your green uh, herbs not to get bad. So And it is easy when you blend them. It's easy for you to use at any time you want to cook. Cooking becomes easier. So I'll just go ahead. I'm transferring them in the Ziploc bag like I told you. And I have some help right there. Good job to my son. So he's helping me out. And that is all about our green seasoning. And so we are done. Just like done. And so friends, we have come to the end of the video. I really do appreciate you watching. If you did watch up to the end, I do appreciate you. I appreciate the support. And if you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe. And you turn on the notification bell so that you can always get notified of all my videos. I hope you are going to try this recipe. Thanks again for watching. See you next time. Bye, y'all.